Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It is Christian here. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today we will be doing what will more than likely be part one of my Sephora VIB haul. So I am VIB Rouge, so I was able to shop the first part of the sale. As I'm filming this, the second part of the sale just started. I definitely for sure forgot to pick up a few things. So, so more than likely there will be a part two to this. We'll, we'll see. So this is everything that I did pick up during the first part of the sale. And I'm super excited to share with you guys all of the things that I did pick up. I was good and I stayed pretty, pretty true to my recommendations slash wish list. And that will also be linked down below in my 2017 holiday playlist. So if you are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you head out. I post lots of hauls, lots of content here on my channel. So if you love a beauty related videos and if you love haul videos, reviews, first impressions, that kind of thing, I am definitely the girl for you. And if you're not new to my channel, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. And let's go ahead and see all the things that I picked up online during the Sephora VIB Rue sale. So this is my box. So I'm literally just gonna put it right here. So let's just go ahead and pull the first thing that is on the top. And this is the Sephora Winter Wonderland Advent Calendar. And as you can see, I already opened it because if you are not familiar with my channel, every single Tuesday I do Advent Calendar openings or unboxings. I kind of pick out a bunch of different Advent Calendars that I am excited about and I want to show you I want to show you guys everything that does come in those particular advent calendars. So I actually filmed this yesterday. So that is why it is all opened. But this did retail for 45 bucks. I'm not going to tell you my opinion on it here because like I said, I have a whole video that is going to be coming up this Tuesday um, about this particular advent calendar. More than likely it'll be this one or another one. But since I've already filmed this one, it probably will be this one. It is a 24 day advent calendar. It does retail for $45. But of course, everything in here I did get 20% off of. And on the back, it just shows you all of the different things that it does come with. I try my best not to look at all of the stuff it comes with because I genuinely like to be surprised when I open them. So, but if you guys were curious, I can kind of let you see a quick sneak peek of all of the different things that do come in this advent calendar. So that is the first thing. That is probably why I got this big gigantic box because this is a good size product. There is for sure some things that I definitely forgot to grab that I definitely want to go ahead and get my hands on. If you watch my recommendation video, this might be a little boring because I've mentioned pretty much everything that I'm about to show you. So the next thing that I did pick up, and this is my third repurchase of this guy. I did not repurchase it during the last sale in April because I wanted to try out some Drunk Elephant products, but I decided that I wanted to go ahead and go back to this. So this is my, well, this is my second full size repurchase. The first time I purchased it, it was one of the little minis, the five, the 0.5 ounces, or this is the one ounce. They do have one that's 1.7, that is $158, which is actually a better value, but I didn't want to like go so crazy and spend a ton of money, even though it's a better value. Um, sometimes I kind of regret that. So we'll see, maybe I'll exchange it out if it's not sold out. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. I did not tell you what it was. It is the uh, Sunday Riley Good Jeans. And basically, if you're not familiar with Good Jeans, I'm gonna, I'm just basically gonna read the box and let you know what it does. It is an all-in-one lactic acid treatment, deeply exfoliates the dull surface of the skin for clarity, radiance, and, and younger looking skin. Visibly brightens the appearance of age spots and discoloration, instantly plumps the look of fine lines and wrinkles in three minutes. If you are familiar with my channel, you know that I do not spare when it comes to skincare. I will definitely test out by sample sizes and things like that. And if I enjoy the sample size of the product, I have no issue springing for the full size. If I genuinely think that it does show positive results, um, you only get one face and you gotta take care of it. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. And this is the bottle. Let me go ahead and pull it out. I will probably wait another week or two before I start rotating this back into my skincare because I'm trying to finish up another couple of skincare items first. But for a 20% off of a $105 product, I couldn't pass it up. The next thing that I also said that I was going to be getting, and now that I finally purchased this, I can finally do my in-depth Drunk Elephant review. And I'm kind of regretting getting the smaller size. This I actually think that I might take back in exchange for the larger one ounce. This is the 0.5 ounce that retails for $40. And then they have a one ounce that retails for 70. And it just seems so freaking small now that I have it compared to all of my other oils. It's like tiny. But I also do have a lot of other oils, so I definitely don't really need the one fluid ounce. This is the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. And I have tried this out. I have used this in the past, but I've just been out of it for a good amount of time. And I did not want to film my Drunk Elephant review video without having all of the products. So I was waiting for the sale to pick this up because I didn't want to spend full price on it. I do my best to try to buy my very expensive skincare during the VIB sales because for the most part, it will last you the entire year or at least a good six months. 
so this is what it looks like it's like a little nugget and I love I love drunk elephant skincare and spoiler alert for the most part it is worth it depending on what your actual skincare needs are so let's take a break from skincare for a second and let's move on to a foundation so I can finally restart my foundation Friday series because I did pick up the Huda Beauty foundation and online this was really hard for me to kind of figure out what my shade is. I picked up the shade Creme, Creme Brulee 150G and this is what the packaging of the product looks like. Let's go ahead and open it up. I already opened it and kind of looked at it. I don't know that this is going to be my color. I don't want to swatch it until the actual foundation Friday. I have, I like having my full thoughts in general. So if I swatch it, then I'll already know the consistency and things like that. So I am going to go ahead and wait for the foundation Friday. I should have honestly filmed that today, but I guess on my next day off, I will film this and then we can start getting back into foundation Fridays. So again, I picked up the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in the shade Creme Brulee. And then we're gonna go to skincare one more time. I also mentioned that I would be replenishing this. This is a drunk elephant kit. And like I say on my channel all the time, you can always tell when I truly love something because I will repurchase it time and time again. I don't make money off of YouTube videos. So this is my hard earned money. Like I wake up every day, I go to work and these are products I decide to repurchase over and over again. So you can always tell that I love a product by the amount of times in which I repurchase it. So this is the come see about me kit from drunk elephant and this was 88 bucks and it is a 108 dollar value i picked this up because it does have a full size of the c from a day serum and the regular price on that is 80 bucks so for an extra eight bucks i got some minis even though i do have all of these in full size i figured for eight bucks and 20 percent off why not go ahead and pick up the gift set and basically on the back it says i just woke up and the first thing i thought of was you best day with you Oh, cute because that's the name of their that's the name of their cleanser so it's like a pun without you nothing else matters your foam sets the perfect tone and balances me in all the right ways I didn't even know I needed you be Hydra <laughs> I feel your unconditional hydration deep down and I can't get enough see firma you're a lover and a fighter you brighten my day and give me strength like no other at last but definitely not least umbra i'm hopelessly devoted and even though you're a little on the protective side i know it's for my own good i can't wait to see what happens next exo skin that is so cheesy and yet i sat there and read the whole thing so it just kind of slides off we get this super cute packaging this would make a really great gift for somebody who you want to treat some luxury skincare to and i want to say that they have two more kits of this but i'm pretty stocked on all of my other drunk elephant items right now watch me go pump one in like two days and then i'd be complete and i'm completely out that would really that would kind of make me upset but this is what it looks like and these are generous sizes so when you think about these three right here being only an extra eight bucks that's awesome these are pretty good and this is like, I love this. I will probably, well, I've gone about two weeks without it and I've definitely noticed a difference. I never want to be without this stuff ever um, because Junk Elephant has definitely, between Junk Elephant and Sunday Riley, those two products together, those two skincare lines have really, really changed my the skincare game for me. And just if you want to see an up close, that is what it looks like up close. I would definitely recommend getting your hands on this because for the value, only an extra eight bucks. And the extra products in here are a good enough size for you to determine whether or not you want to go ahead and spend the money on the full sizes. Sephora upset me. So I guess it was not really Sephora. It was more UPS. So I had two separate online orders because I made my first order super early the day that the original sale launched. And then I woke up, thought about it, and added a couple of other things to my, to my basket and made a second order. So the first order, when I say came smashed, the box was broken. It was like opened and I was... And then you saw the big fragile handle with care sticker. I was so pissed, so upset. And then they canceled. I had ordered the Natasha Denona five pan holidays, holiday eyeshadows, and they actually canceled that because it was sold out. It was not available in their warehouse. However, it has never said sold out. It has never said out of stock on the website because trust me, I checked. So where are my eyeshadows though? But they, I called customer care. They're like, oh yeah, but we didn't charge you for them. Second, UPS sent me, I know I'm going to go on a little bit of a tangent real quick, but you know. Second, my second, the other package UPS actually sent to the wrong address. So I called Sephora, I was like, I'm, it's showing that I got delivered. I, did, I didn't get it, so I don't know, I don't know where it got delivered to, but I can tell you right now, I didn't get it. So we called 
a UPS and UPS was like, oh yeah, we sent it to the wrong address. So I'm like, yo, Sephora man, what are you gonna do to help me? And he was like, well, if you can't track down the packaging, if I can't track down the packaging, if, if I can't, he, the UPS guy literally told you that it was sent to the wrong place and you want me to track it down? That seems a little, that seems a little much, but that's okay because I was able to find it. it they, I had my package delivered to work and they just shipped it to a different, a different building, not really far from my job. So the UPS guy gave me the address and I went, walked in there like, can I get my package please? And the girl was like, how do you know that it's here? Because I called UPS, stop trying to steal my stuff, girl. And then she was like, well, let me see your driver's license. Oh, no problem. Can I have my package? Because it was literally sitting right there and I could see it. And she did not want to give it to me. But after I showed her my driver's license, she was like, oh, okay, it's right here. Duh, I see it. Sorry, I was a little upset because I felt like she was trying to keep my package. But this is, this is another reason why I'm a little mad. And I guess it's not that big of a deal. But I was planning on keeping the um, packaging for this. So this is the Pat McGrath's Mothership number no. three subversive palette. And I kept saying in my review video or my wish list, I didn't know I was going back between the second and the third. So I decided to go ahead and get the third, but the packaging is actually broken because they did not handle with care at UPS. So this is what it looks like. And it's stunning. It's just, it's so chic and so edgy and so just high class. It just it feels high quality. I haven't even opened it yet, but like you can feel that it's high quality. So by now you already know, cause a bunch of reviews have come out. It opens like this and it's like uh, some fancy fanciness and it pops out and something just fell. So you have to kind of keep this because you get the shade names on the inside of the packaging. It is so luxurious. Mine is a little dirty. If these shadows are broken. So on the back it's gold. It's like gold plated and it just says Pat McGrath Flaps, Mothership. And it does not specify on the packaging anywhere what palette this actually is, which is a little... I think that they probably will fix that going forward, hopefully maybe with newer batches because for something of this luxury and this price, I definitely think they could have like etched it in there pretty easily. Um, but this is what the outside packaging looks like. And let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, none of them are broken. And this is just, this is just general, like this is actual what luxury looks like when it comes to an eyeshadow palette. Um, I love my Natasha Denona eyeshadows very, very much. I definitely think that Pat McGrath took the cake when it comes to the actual packaging of the product, but you can also tell that a lot of the money, or at least the way it feels, went into packaging, whereas Natasha Denona has more of a basic packaging and you get a ton of, you know, you get a ton of eyeshadows for not too much more expensive. So the Natasha Denona for, are they the same price? This is more expensive. How much are the Natasha Denona's? Yeah, this is more expensive. So you definitely get more from Natasha, because this is 125 and I think the Natasha Denona's are 129 for 15 shadows. So you can definitely tell that some of her, some of her pricing went into the just packaging itself. I mean, I like Natasha Denona's packaging, but as far as luxury is concerned, as far as what you get, I feel like you get a better bang for your buck with hers. But I'm not gonna swatch this because I think I'm gonna do like a first impressions or, okay, we'll swatch one. We'll swatch one. Which one do you think we should swatch? My eye is naturally gravitating to this greeny gold, um, beautiful shade here. Oh, as I'm sw okay, you guys, these are like hella duochrome. You can even see that in the pan, like, cause I'm looking at it from here and then I look at it from here and I'm like, wait, that's pink. So we're gonna swatch, we're gonna do this one. That's pretty, that is pretty. Okay, let's do, we'll do another. We'll just we're gonna do this purple because you know I love wearing purple eyeshadow. I don't know that I'm like they're pretty, but are they hundred and twenty five dollars pretty? We're, let's do another. Let's just do this green. I don't know why I'm playing myself. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, they're swatching gore. Okay, yeah, they're swatching very well. They look extremely pretty. They have a lot of pigment on one swipe. I did not apply a lot of pressure into them, into the pans at all, but are they $125 pretty? We'll just have to wait and see. I mean, I got 20% off. I don't know that I would ever purchase this at like full price, but during the sale, it gives you the opportunity to kind of splurge a little bit. So I picked up a skincare item like I said that I would, and there is actually one more skincare item that I wanna grab. I'm pretty positive that I will be making a second purchase during this portion of the sale, 
but this was a bit this has been on my wish list for a good amount of time i said that i was going to grab it so i finally decided to go ahead and pick it up this is the pharmacy green clean melt away makeup cleansing balm and I have been without a cleansing balm for the last like week and a half. It is a chore for me to get my makeup off now without the cleansing balms. They're necessary. Um, so what I do is I will go in with my cleansing balm before I wash my face. Then I will go in with a micellar water, remove anything else. Then I will go in with my actual cleanser. So, and then if I'm wearing like a ton of makeup, I will go back in with a micellar water wipe one more time to make sure everything is off. So my skincare routine does consist of a pretty decent amount of steps. Once you get a routine down, even if it is like a ton of steps, you don't really notice it. So again, let's go ahead and open this up. So, oh, I forgot to show you guys. This is, let me go ahead and show you what the outer packaging looks like. I legitimately feel like I'm opening this incorrectly. Why, why, why won't you open? Okay, maybe I'm not being aggressive enough here. And then it basically has a description on the actual inside of the box. Oh, it does. Okay. So it, you get a lot of information in here, actually. So it just kind of pops out like that. And then you can kind of read up on the brand, which I actually think I am. This is a pretty generous size of cleansing balm. It's 3.2 fluid ounces off of the top of my head. I do not know how much my Clinique comes with. Okay. And you get the little spatula on the inside. And then let's open this up. I'm going to use this tonight. So sometimes I don't like opening the skincare right away because I know I'm not going to use it right away and I don't want it to go bad. That's what it looks like. Let's just give it a touch. Yep, it feels like your typical, typical cleansing balm. As soon as the warmth of your hand goes into it, it kind of melts. So I've heard nothing but amazing things about this. So I am really, really excited to finally try it. So the next thing is another item that I said that I was going to pick up. This is the Marc Jacobs Five Piece Petite Enamored High Shine Lip Gloss Lacquer Collection. And on the back, it wants to let you know that these are an award-winning formulation and they are in covetable colors. So you get Sugar Sugar Skin Deep Raspberry Beret, Boys Don't Cry, and Ch 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 Changes. I think I added an extra ch in there. And I've just heard nothing but great things about this enamored lip glosses. I've never tried them. Sugar Sugar was made famous by Jacqueline Hill. And I don't know why I said Jacqueline. Like, that's okay. And then, but another one that I've heard a lot of people talk about is Skin Deep. I'm going to swatch that one. Oh, that looks, yeah, I'm going to love that. So that is the color Skin Deep swatched right there in the most awkward place ever. Let's go ahead and... I love a glossy lip. Nine times out of 10, you will see me in a glossy lip. I like the matte lipstick train. I feel like I have, my lips are better for gloss than they are for matte. Cause I do have a lot of fine lines in my lips, um, but I have naturally full lips and I just feel like glosses just make it all the better. That's also very beautiful. I think, no, that was the shade Ch 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 Changes right there. Look at that high shine. Those are gorgeous. Let's do one, another one in a less awkwardly swatched position. Let's do the purple. And you know I don't mind wearing wearable purples. I will wear wearable purples. I just don't like super vibrant purples. I like a more a muted, deeper purple. I probably would wear that. That's pretty. I'm so excited to finally try out this formulation. I don't think it's sold out yet, which I'm actually really surprised by. We have one more thing that I said I was going to pick up and then two more things that you guys are going to be like, where did that come from? So I finally, finally, finally got the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Eyeshadow Palette. This palette has been on my list for such a long time, but it kept getting pushed back and pushed back. But, but I finally have it and I'm so excited about it. I've already opened it and looked at it and it's beautiful. So this is the actual packaging which every beauty guru and every Instagram Instagram famous person in the beauty community has probably has a tutorial on it, has probably used it a million times. And it comes with the packaging on this one, because I do have the original, the packaging on this one definitely does feel a little bit more high quality and a little bit more luxurious than the original. And it also comes with a mirror, which by now I'm sure you already know. Um, I actually liked the packaging of the original. I didn't mind it. A lot of people said that it screamed very cheap, but I didn't think so. I kind of liked it. It was different. And I'm trying to keep this in here so you guys can see the actual eyeshadow. So it comes with 18 different eyeshadows. Let's go ahead and swatch a couple. 
these actually, they're, the more I stare at them, the more beautiful I'm kind of like the Pat McGrath ones are. Let's swatch Turkish Delight. Really pretty. Oh, that is a gorgeous color. Super beautiful. Let's swatch Royal. That is royal swatch, also beautiful. These, and there is still plenty of pigment left over on my hand. So we have Angelic. I think this is the one repeat shade from her previous palette. And then we have the shade Angelic right there. Super beautiful. Now that I'm swatching it, I'm kind of upset that I waited so long to purchase it. I took a trip to Bougie Town, USA, and I picked up two Tom Ford products. These were not on my wish list. I did not speak of them. I did not talk about them. I did not. It wasn't even. I picked up two Tom Ford products. We're just going to leave it there. So we've got some Pat McGrath and some Tom Ford. I don't know who I think I am. But this is the Tom Ford Soleil, Soleil, Soleil Afterglow Palette. And the packaging on this is super beautiful. I always say that I'm gonna buy Tom Ford from Beautylish so I could do their um, Easy Pay or whatever, their Flex Pay. But even with Flex Pay, I still felt like the 20% off was better, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up from Sephora. It comes with a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. Now, I plan on doing a full face of first impressions on very high-end makeup, so I will not be swatching this because I want my opinions to be super genuine. In that video but this I mean talk about luxe packaging I feel like that's the difference between a $40 face product from Sephora that has minimal but still nice package versus bougie packaging I mean $30 is right in here in this packaging you know what I mean so again let me go ahead and show you guys an up close so that is the packaging up close you know I love white and gold and black I'm into it as you can tell all of my decorations are white gold and black as you can tell behind me and then this is what it looks like opened up. The bronzer definitely looks like it's going to pull a little bit on the warmer side and I'm not super into warm bronzers. So we'll see how that works out. I cannot wait to film that video because I'm also going to, in the same week, I'm also planning on doing a video of super cheap, affordable makeup. Um, first impression. So that's kind of something I've been wanting to do for a while. And then the next thing that I picked up, it's in the same packaging, just smaller. This is the Sheer Highlighting Duo in Reflex Guild. Now I've heard that these are actually really beautiful, but obviously I've also heard that they are way worth, they are not worth the money. But I decided to go ahead and pick them up anyway, and I'm going to go ahead and be the judge of that. It comes with two highlighters. You get more of a bronzy and then one of more of like a gold. This looks like it might be a little bit of a bronze with like a rose, like a rosy undertone. Um, and again, just really beautiful. And I wanted to treat myself to something nice. I know I purchase a lot of makeup, but I don't purchase a lot. I don't really purchase. I purchase a lot of high-end makeup, but I very rarely purchase luxury makeup. I've gotten two promotions within the last six months, and I hadn't really gotten a chance to fully treat myself. So that's how I decided to go ahead and treat myself. Anyways, you guys, that is everything that I did pick up during the Sephora VIB Rue Sale Part 1. More than likely, there will be a Part 2, because as you can see, I did not pick up my Holy Grail Laura Mercier Foundation. How could I not pick up my Holy Grail Laura Mercier Foundation? And there's a couple more things that I want to pick up as well. Um, my bank account is telling me no, no, no. But we're probably going to ignore it and do it anyway. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and seeing all of the different things that I did pick up during the VIP sale. Hopefully I sparked a little excitement and got you some recommendations that maybe you'll want to test out. Let me know down below if you picked up any of these items. If you plan on picking up any of these items, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. The best way, and I'm just going to, I'm going to put it out there for you guys, the best way to get exposure and the best way to grow on YouTube. If you genuinely enjoy somebody's content, always give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you have not already. Yeah, you guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.